A word of warning. If you're easily offended by cannibalism, death, torture, and fascinating facts about the human body, this series may not be for you. Therefore, listener discretion is advised. Cannibalism. Could you eat a whole human being? With the help of a doctor, a scientist, and a chef, I set out to see if it's possible. Cannibalism, part 23, the sex organs. Of all of our episodes so far, this is the one which has got Steve, our ordinary UK male, crossing his legs. 2024, London. Five men were convicted of conspiracy to commit GBH for a sadistic website called Eunuch Maker. With 20,000 followers who were aroused by the amputation of men's penises and testicles. Using clamps, knives and saws, 29 cases of genital castration and mutilation were filmed and uploaded, which netted its mastermind £300,000, with one video showing him eating some testicles with a salad. From ancient Egypt to the pagans to the Aztecs, across all tribes before our cultures combined, the genitals have always been a symbol of power and fertility. 2001, Armin Mivas severed his volunteer's penis, but too chewy to eat raw, he fried it with wine, garlic, and his victim's fat. Only having burnt it, he fed it to the dog. But is a penis a viable cannibal's meal? Well, sort of. Only the penis isn't a muscle. It's a spongy mass of erectile tissue and blood vessels. And on average, weighing 160 grams, being roughly 6 inches long when erect and 2.3 inches when flaccid, it's a lot smaller when it's been severed and drained, with Napoleon's amputated penis being just 1.5 inches long. Consisting of roughly 9 to 22 calories per inch, depending on girth, a penis is twice as long as it looks as it extends well into the pelvis with the average erection lasting seven minutes. And although ladies may joke that a man's brain is in his pants, ejaculation is actually controlled by the neurons in the lower spine. So if a cannibal wanted to eat a sizable man's appendage, shoe size is a myth. But the International Journal of Impotence states, penile size correlates with age, height, and index finger length. Now, a death erection is therefore vital to maintain length and girth post-mortem, which scientists believe may be due to pressure on the cerebellum during strangulation, or in the case of shotgun wounds, the destruction of the cervical spinal cord. Therefore, to maintain that girth post-mortem, before severing, the shaft of the penis needs to be tied and cauterized to prevent blood loss. Animal penises are eaten in many cultures. They're prepared by splitting it down the urethra, rinsing it to remove the urine smell, and being tough when raw, it needs to be boiled for several hours. After that, it is said they gain a soft and gelatinous texture, but lacking much flavor, it requires a strong seasoning. Like Armin Mivas, in 2012, when Japanese performance artist Mao Sugiyama cut off and cooked his own penis for six $25 patrons. Having pan-fried it, the culinary director of Serious Eats wrote, It was chewy. He didn't cook it right. What a waste of a good penis. It's a delicate meat, so it needs to be treated with care. As for testicles, a between 3.5 and 5.5 centimeters long, 2 to 3.5 centimeters wide, and about 20 grams each. They contain no meat, being made of 800 coiled tubes of germ and Sertoli cells encased in a scrotum. A roughly 20 to 30 calories per testy. Although Albert Fish claimed his peewees were chewy, it's likely he didn't cook them correctly. As although needing no special preparation, testicles are set a delicate melting texture when braised. 
They also suit being breaded and deep fried, as their texture is a little like a large fresh scallop. And as my local butcher states, they have a very distinctive pop when bitten into. It's odd that many cultures are so squeamish about eating testicles, when they're considered delicacies in most countries, with the World Testicle Cooking Championships being held each year in Serbia. So with 167,000 people dying every day, if we put our moles aside, each penis would be a tasty snack for the population of Scunthorpe. Three testicles each could make a good soup for everyone in clacton on sea And with the average penis skin being 6.5 centimeters wide and 11 centimeters long, that could cover 60,000 hardback books. So Steve's love plums and pink oboe could make a tasty snack for a cannibal. But what about if he wasn't Steve, but Eve? As I hate to shock you, but a boy's pee-pee is not the same as a girl's nunu. Biologically, men and women are around 98.5% identical. Even the labia is comprised of the same mix of skin, sweat glands and blood vessels as a scrotum. It's also as sensitive and as chewy. When Czechoslovakian killer Ladislav Hoya stabbed a woman known only as Ivana M in 1981, he sliced off her labia penetrated the severed lips with his penis, then boiled them in salt water, seasoned them with mustard owing to their bland taste. But deciding that they were too chewy, he flushed them down the toilet. Like testicles, ovaries are an acquired taste and texture, as they contain no muscle. And only one centimetre wide, they were a mix of ovarian follicles, connective tissue, blood and lymphatic vessels. In the 1891 murder of New York prostitute Carrie Brown, her genitals were mutilated, and although an ovary was said to have been removed, a post-mortem later stated it had been dislodged owing to a cyst. So far, there were no known cases of cannibals willingly eating an ovary, although this may simply be the fact that testicles are easy to spot, but ovaries are hidden. The same could be said of the murders of Annie Chapman and Catherine Eddowes, purportedly by Jack the Ripper, as the removal of a uterus drove the press into overdrive about his woman-hating mission. But given that an adult uterus is 8 centimeters long, 5 centimeters wide, and the walls are 4 centimeters thick, with the intestines, uterus, and labia of Annie Chapman Join me having been fully for the or best way to dispose of a human body, Rather than insisting that Jack had a surgeon's skill, as that makes for a better story, given the close proximity of these organs and the fact that he also removed the bladder, maybe the truth is more likely that he was simply a vengeful bedwetter who was terrible at anatomy. As mentioned before, it's possible that many body parts have symbolism, no matter how insignificant for a cannibal which is why they eat some bits and not others. But by accepting their motive often after the fact, or by trying to force a motive on their actions to suit a narrative, is wrong, especially if it's unproven. 2024, Chicago. Clarissa Figuero was sentenced to 50 years for strangling 19-year-old Marlon Oco Lopez and slicing open the heavily pregnant teen's womb to claim her unborn baby as her own. The baby died two months later, and the mother's body was dumped in the rubbish bin. It was said that not long after Clarissa's own son had died, that she lied to her family that she was pregnant, and she continued with the lie. Join me tomorrow to explore the one bit of a body a cannibal can't destroy in its entirety, the DNA.